Hey guys, what is up? My name is Veli21 and welcome to my first tutorial video up on this channel. Now, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to render your videos and upload in HD. So that's 720p or 1080p up to you. Um, because I actually have been getting a lot of requests asking how I get such good quality on my videos. Um, honestly, I don't think I get very good quality on my videos, but I can upload in HD, so I guess it's okay. Um, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best quality on your videos now first it does depend what you use to record um i use i use fraps to record and if i record like flash games i would use camtasia studio 8 it's what i'm using right now because fraps can't record desktop on windows 8 so yep and now here's it depends what you want to use to render but i render with sony vegas pro 12 and i think it's the best um just because I've tried many rendering settings and I think Sony Vegas would be the best um, out of all of them. So yeah, so this is how I render my videos. I simply open up Sony Vegas Pro 12. Now I've got a, just a little Team Fortress 2 test video here that I'm going to be rendering in HD. Um, so let's say I'm done editing and I'm happy and I want to render this in HD. So I simply import my video and then once I'm done, um, I simply hit this little icon up here and templates I select whatever I want to render in so 1080 for example I'd go to HDV 1080 60i and for the frame rate I select whatever's closest to 30 so 29.970 and then I go down to pixel format leave that at 8 uh, full resolution rendering quality of course you want to set that to best it will probably be set at, pr at preview so you want to change that to best motion blur type I leave that at Gaussian I'm not sure what that is, and I leave these two checked so I don't have to do this every time I open up Vegas. Then I simply hit apply and OK. And as you can see, this does get me these black borders around my video, and I really don't want them. So to simply get rid of them, I right click on my video, go to switches, ah, uh, sorry, go to properties, and untick maintain aspect ratio. And as you can see, that gets rid of the black borders around your video. And over here, it will be set like that, preview auto, and as you can see, it does look a bit blurry. So just change that to best, full, and it's going to give you a bit of a preview on how your video will look like once it's completed rendering. And then once you've done those settings, you're going to go to file, say uh, render as, and don't you dare crash. Don't you dare. Okay, so now it brings you to your rendering page. Um... And this is where you render your videos. But just before you render your video, you want to select your templates. So if you use Windows, I'd prefer the second last one, which is Windows Media Video V11.WMV. And if you're rendering in 720p, uh, I select 6 megabytes per second. And if I render in 1080, then I go 8 megabytes per second. So you select whichever one you're rendering in, and you want to hit Customize Template. And just give it a whatever name you want. Oh no, that's a stupid name. Uh, just gonna name mine template. Template, and then uh, I head over to the video tab over here, and frame rate closer to 30. Um, for the video smoothness, now this depends what kind of computer you have. If you have a good fast computer, you definitely want to set that to 100. But if you have a slow computer, just leave it at 90. Don't go lower than 90 because it's not going to be that good. So yeah, and then head over to bit rates. And this depends on your internet. If you have good fast internet, you want to set your bitrate probably, I'd say, 10 to 12. The higher the better, of course, but you've got to keep in mind the higher you do, then the bigger video file size you'll get. Um, but if you have slower internet, I'd go for 6 to 8. And yeah, so select that. Um, I usually do 10 because my internet's pretty good. So yeah, just select that, then go to project. And in video rendering quality, select that as best. Hit OK. Then it'll create your template for you. There it is. You want to favorite that by hitting the star. I'll just, yep, hit the star next to it. And then hit, you want to click show favorites only. So every time you open up this rendering page, it will only show your templates, which is HD. Then you simply select your templates. Um, select whatever folder you want. I'm going to select my de um, desktop as my destination. I'm going to name it Team Fortress. Um, two, and then hit save. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. Then I hit render, 
and it begins to render and it's nice quick and easy and I'll show you guys what it looks like after so yep okay so here we are the video has just finished rendering and I head over to my desktop and here it is Team Fortress 2 and actually my old one which I haven't rendered it's actually 506 megabytes and it's only um, let's see uh, sorry uh, it's only 52 seconds and it was 506 megabytes and after the rendering it is 42 megabytes so as you can see it compresses and renders your video in HD so here's the before it does look perfect because um, this is just straight after the recording after fraps and it's it looks picture perfect um, and the one after here it is not much of a difference as you can see it looks exactly the same no quality loss and it's in HD so that's how I render my videos in HD and I hope you guys have learned now how to render your videos in HD. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. If this tutorial helped you guys, please leave a like. Be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or PM me, and I'll try and answer ASAP. So, yeah. Also, don't mind the sloth pictures. I don't know why, but I'm just obsessed with sloths. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Once again, leave a like. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.